In this video, I'll show you what happens if you cheat on Liara in Mass Effect 2. Keep watching to find out. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. In the original base game of Mass Effect 2, Liara was not available as a romance option. You could have a brief intimate moment when you reunited with her on Ilium, and then if you remained faithful to her throughout the game, Shepard would stare at a picture of Liara before the final mission. And that was basically it. Oh, and you could do a side quest for her. That was pretty sexy. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. This all changed when Lair of the Shadow Broker expansion was released. During this DLC, players can rekindle their relationship with Liara. Shepard cannot start a new relationship with Liara during the expansion if they were not previously involved in Mass Effect 1. However, if you happen to form another relationship in Mass Effect 2 before playing Lair of the Shadow Broker, get ready for a surprise, because Liara finds out about it. She is an information broker, after all. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. After the boss fight in the Azur Hotel, when you inquire about your relationship with Liara, she confronts Shepard about the infidelity. Will you just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? About us. Shepard, listen, I'm glad you're here. Are you worried there might be terminals you need me to hack? That's not fair. You were dead. I came back. Yes, you came back, and now you're itching to get under Tally's helmet. Look, Shepard, I'm an information broker. I learn things. I didn't mean... Look, for now, let's focus on getting Farron back. Fine. Liara has unique lines for each of the primary romance options from Mass Effect 2. In this case, I had started dating Tally. If you want to see all the other dialogue lines, let me know, and perhaps I'll do an expanded version in the future. I didn't include it right now because that's just a lot of different playthroughs to do, you know? This is roughly the midway point of the DLC, and your relationship won't be settled one way or another at this point. Once you've defeated the final boss, you will have the option to either break up with Liara or reaffirm your relationship. I decided to keep things going with Liara for now. It's been two years. I don't... We're different people. You have your mission and... Okay. 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 But... We should focus. Let's see what our options are. Your relationship with Liara will not impact any other romance in Mass Effect 2. None of the characters have any dialogue about your romantic endeavors with Dr. Tassoni. This makes sense because Lair of the Shadow Broker was an expansion, and it would have taken a lot of effort to integrate Liara's romance with every other possible relationship in the base game. In other words, if you want to romance Liara and an additional companion from the base game of Mass Effect 2, you are free to do so without any major negative consequences, at least for the moment. However, Things change a bit in Mass Effect 3. At the beginning of the game, after you've completed missions on Mars and the Citadel, Liara will ask about the state of your relationship. If you formed another relationship in Mass Effect 2, she will have some unique dialogue about that as well. At this point, you can either choose to end the romance or recommit to her. Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. I know you and Tally grew close. Is that in the past? Should I forget there was anything between us? I didn't forget you, Liara. I want to make us work. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. 
I'd like that list, but later? Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. I know you and Tally grew close. Is that in the past? Should I forget there was anything between us? A lot has happened since then, Liara. I don't think we'd work anymore. Really? I... Thank you for letting me know. I think it's best for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway, I should get down to business. There's a lot to do if we're to discover exactly what the Protheans left us. Rekindling the relationship means locking in Liara as your primary romance in Mass Effect 3. Be aware that if you cheat on her after committing to a relationship, she will find out about it and dump you. Remember, she is the Shadow Broker after all. YouTuber Fluffy Ninja Llama has a compilation of Liara's reactions to every possible romance option that Shepard can cheat on her with in Mass Effect 3, which I'll link in the description. All of them basically play out the same way. I know you're with Steve Cortez, Shepard. Liara, I... I'm done playing games with you, Commander. Neither of us has the time. Besides, I didn't even know you swung that way. When I play the Mass Effect trilogy, I generally like to remain faithful to my romance partners throughout all three games. I've tried playing the multiple romance game a few times, and I always just end up feeling shitty about it. This is especially true with Liara. Well, unless it involves cheating on Caden, I don't know, that always cracked me up for some reason. What's going on? Is there something else? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Was there something between you and Garrus? I wouldn't cheat on you, Caden. You're lying. I know. Everyone knows. A and you know what's crazy? <sighs> I still care about you. <sighs> I think you should go. Take care, Caden. See you around. Yeah, see you around. But hey, it's an RPG, so play however you like. Just be ready to live with the consequences. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Don't kill yourself. So there you have it. What happens if you cheat on Liara in Mass Effect 2? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omnigel on everything? That security upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Truck. I know. Truck. I know. There we go. You're enjoying this. I had on collision at this speed. Yeah, I hear those can be bad for you.